Hi, I'm Santiago. Today we're going to talk about our acoustic test chambers, the Grass AL30 and the AL30S2. These products are designed for repeatable testing of devices in production line environments, but are also getting more and more popular in research and development environments for quick and reliable testing of prototypes. We can test multiple types of devices inside the AL30, and here we have some examples. Smartphones, tablets, small loudspeakers such as speakerphones or smart speakers, or any other similarly sized acoustic device. All in all, we provide a very flexible platform that can be configured in multiple ways to suit your testing needs. These test chambers are made of medium density fiberboard. In the interior, we have acoustic damping material to reduce the number of reflections inside the box. With this combination of materials, we can get sufficient self-insertion loss to avoid room background noise from getting in the way of your testing, but also to reduce the disturbance caused by the test to the people working around the box. At the front of the AL30, we have the drawers. Inside the drawers, we have device on the test holders for easy, safe, and quick mounting and removal of your DUT. Also inside the drawer, we have rails. The rails have positioning guides that will help you recall the exact position of your device on the test inside the box. This is a great tool to increase the repeatability of your measurements or to copy the exact same test setup from one production line to the other. The drawer can hold small and medium sized devices up to 30 by 20 centimeters. Once the device under test is in place, we can close and secure the door to start the measurement. We provide different DUT holders for devices of different sizes and shapes. If the top clearance of the drawer is not enough for the size of your DUT, you can pick a DUT holder that lowers the position of your device inside the drawer. If that's still not enough, you can go for the AL30S2 that has a larger drawer opening that will provide extended top clearance for your device. As you can see, the AL30s have a large opening at the back. This allows for easy access to the chamber's interior. This way, you can effortlessly set up your test equipment such as measurement microphones, cabling, or a sound source like a mouth simulator. The AL30 has two mounting points on the bottom and two mounting points on the top, while the AL30 S2 has four mounting points on the bottom and four on the top. Grass provides multiple accessories for mounting test equipment inside the box, using the internal mounting points or the rails in the drawer. On the side of the AL30, we have the connector panel. This can be customized with a range of connectors. The connector panel acts as an interface between the test equipment inside the box and the data acquisition system or analyzer on the outside. The AL30 has space for eight different connectors, while the AL30S2 has space for 10. Some of the connectors available are B and C, XLR, RCA, speak on, quarter in jack, Ethernet, USB, HDMI, among others. If you would like to use a custom connector, we can leave a blank plate so you can add your connector of choice later. To prevent vibration from external sources from influencing the measurements, the chamber also has shock and vibration absorbing feet. Here, we have an example set up using two measurement microphones, one mounted on a top mounting point and the other mounted on the drawer. The microphones are going to be used to test the performance of the DUT's loudspeaker, while a mouth simulator mounted on the inside will be used as a sound source to test the performance of the DUT's microphone. Once the cabling is set up, we can close the chamber and start testing. 